reading this, and decide if you are satisfied with the stratification of American society, then join the fight so that you can help American collective self-interests to maintain its roots in entrepreneur reading this, and decide if you are satisfied with the stratification of American society, then join the fight so that you can help American collective self-interests to maintain its roots in entrepreneurialism, liberty, capitalism, and above all else, economic growth, wealth and prosperity, peace and unity. This idea that we should embrace unity will all bring about an awareness of humanity that it is more than a division of nations, not divided in their nationality by race, origin, sex, or ethnicity, but by common purpose, for the good of globalization, happiness, and making our economies roar. To life as we once again chase cheap dollars to make one last final jab and see if by our flooded monetarily overcapitalized investment transferred by the Fed to financial institutions, I know we will have to consider how to rebalance ourselves politically, economically, socially, and go forward united and common collectively aware self-interest. Problems? I don't see one. But if you look at AIG and Gadot and Kane that if this wasn't actually the problem or issue comma they were stupid for not saying that regulatory insurance contracts currented every underwritten contract sold by AIG or any other insurers selling contracts under that regulatory structure. Which made it have calmed outrage about the Fed's loan sharking to AIG whose stock has declined nearly 90% since the government got warrants in securities that are no longer trading where it would make any profitable sense to even attempt to claim their shares. But if I told you how tired I am of writing hundreds of words in many places about nearly identical subjects posted most recently in the past 872 hours online, I think you'd tell Bear Stearns to sell out to Dollars Monday even though clearly the Manhattan price of their downtown building was worth at least one billion dollars, and with 100 million shares outstanding that were formerly trading above 150 dollars per share, as the credit tsunami hit, it bankrupted them from short-term, not long-term insolvency. Many financial companies figured out how to secure virtually unlimited leverage from creditors in exchange for raising capital to finance their mezzanine refunding operations because there was an active market to do so, without worrying about the quality of the bonds they were trading having generally assumed by incorporation how to have already prearranged these transactions even immediately up to IPO that surely they must be ready to move paper before they even exist or start business, right? You know what happened. Nearly every dollar left over indebted to TARP is over halfway out by IG, who, after being more than a $10 billion stock, reverse split its shares with split adjusted levels five years ago that publicly displayed prices backwardly adjusted at an excess of four figures, were saved not because they did anything wrong, other than masturbate over supposedly mathematically convincing actuarial algorithms. Imagine that, that they assumed that if they paid math graduates to write to make decisions about filling this gap that perversely incented through various investment banking relationships throughout Wall Street, particularly near the Manhattan, Connecticut area, created by the common principle slash agent problem from principally concerned disincentives to accurately report profitability is created if over leveraging did not lead to bottom line growth but can be financially engineered or, in the case of restatement, re-engineered by accounting manipulation. And this is the main indication of a lack of economic profitability central to the growth of equity and the foundation of the fundamentals to financial science. 